Good morning. I'm Samuel Terrell, and I'm from the from the Epiphany Episcopal Youth Community. And I am broadcasting live in my in my house for morning prayer, which will start in two minutes. Good morning. Good morning, Mrs. Oki Pinty. Oki Pinty. Good morning, Mrs. Oki Pinty. What are you, Dad? Morning, Mrs. Garcia. Uh, it's eight o'clock. Let us begin morning prayer in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Send, send out your light and your, and your truth, that they may lead me and bring, to, and bring me to your holy hill and to your dwelling. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Let us confess, turning to page 79, let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you, in thoughts, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry, and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways. To the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us all our sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen us in all goodness and by the power of the Holy Spirit. Keep us in eternal life. Amen. Lord open our Lord open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Worship the Lord in the beauty of his holiness. Come, let us adore him. Now turn it to page 82 for the, as we say it together, the Jubilate. Page 82. Be joyful in the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness, and come before his presence with a song. Know this, the Lord himself is God. He himself has made us, and we are his. And we are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving, go into his courts with praise, give thanks to him and call upon his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his faithfulness endures from age to age. Now let's turn to page, and turn the page, to, and let us go, let us turn to page 660 in your book of common prayer, as, as we say Psalm 55, Responsibly by whole verse. Psalm 55, page, 
page 660 in your book of common in your book of common prayer let us read it responsibly by a whole verse hear my prayer O god do not hide yourself from my petition listen to me and answer me i have no peace because of my cares i am shaken by, by the noise of the enemy and by the pressure of the wicked for they have cast an evil spell upon me in your, and are set against me in fury. My heart quakes with me, and the terrors of death have fallen upon me. Fears and trembling have come over me, and horror overwhelms me. And I said, Oh, that I had wings like a dove, I would fly away and be at rest. I would flee to a far off place, and make my launching in the woodlands. I would hasten to escape from the stormy wind and tempest, swallow, swallow them up. O oh Lord, confound their speech, for I have seen violence and strife in the city. Day and night the watchmen make the rounds upon the walls, but trouble and misery are in the midst of her. There, are, there is corruption at her heart, for the streets are never free of oppression and deceits. For, it, for, it had, for had it been an adversary who taunted me, then, it, then I could have borne it. Or had it, or had it been an enemy? Or had it been an enemy who vaunted himself against me, then I could have hidden from him. But it was you, a man after my own heart, my companion, my own familiar friend, who took who took sweet counsel together, and walked a, walked with a throne in the house of God. Let death come upon them suddenly, let them let them go down alive to the grave. For, for, for wickedness is in their dwellings, in their very midst. But I will call upon God, and the Lord will deliver me. In the evening, in the morning, and at noonday, I will complain and lament, and he will hear my voice. He will bring me safely back from the battle waged against me. For, for there are many who fight me. God, who is enthroned of all, will hear me and bring them down. They never change. They do not hear God. My companion stretched forth his hand against his comrade. He has broken his covenant. His speech is softer than butter, but war is in his heart. His words are sm smoother than oil, but they are drawn swords. Cast your burden upon the Lord, and he will sustain you. He will never let the righteous stumble. For you will bring the bloodthirsty and deceitful down to the pit of destruction, O God. They shall not live our half their days, but I will put my trust in you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The first lesson is, is from the book of Joshua, chapter, chapter 24. Chapter 23, verses 1 through 16. Joshua, chapter 23, verses 1 through 16. Reading from the book of Joshua. A long time afterward, when the Lord had given rest to Israel from all from all their enemies all around, and Joshua was old and, and well advanced in years. Joshua summoned all Israel, their elders and heads, their, judge, their judges and officers, and said to them, I am now old and well advanced in years, and you, you have seen all that the Lord your God has done to, these nation, done to all these nations for your sake, for this is the Lord your God who has fought for you. I have allotted you as an inheritance for your tribes, those nations to remain among, to remain, to remain, along with all the nations that I have already cut off, from the Jordan to the Great Sea in the west. The Lord your God will push them back before you and drive them out, drive them, drive them out of your sight, and you shall possess their land, as the Lord your God promised you. Therefore, be very steadfast to observe. To observe and do all that is written in the book of the, of the law of Moses, turning aside from it neither to the right nor to the left, so that you may not be mixed with these nations let, left here among you. 
or make mention in the names of their gods, or swear by them, or serve them, or bow yourselves bow, or bow yourselves down to them. But hold fast to the Lord your God, as you have done to this day. For the Lord has driven us before you in great before you great and strong nations, and as for you, no one has been able to withstand withstand you to this day. One you puts puts to find a thousand since and since it is the Lord your God who fights for you as he promised you. Be very careful, therefore, to love the Lord your God. For if you turn back and join the survivors of these of these nations left here among you, and yet you're married with them, so that you married a woman and and they and they yours. Know assuredly that know assuredly that the Lord your God will not will not continue to drive out these nations before you, but it shall be shall be a snare and a trap for you, a scourge on your sides and thorns in your eyes, until you perish from this good land that the Lord your God has given you. And now I am about to go go the way of all the earth, and you know in your hearts and souls, all of you, that no one that not one thing has failed of all the good things the Lord your God promised concerning you. All, all have come to pass for you. None of them, none of them has failed. But just, but just as all the good things that the Lord your God promised concerning you have been fulfilled for you, so the Lord will bring upon you all that all the bad things until until He has destroyed you from this good land that the Lord your God has given you. If you transgress the covenant of the Lord your God, which he, enjo he enjoined on you and, 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 and go and serve other gods and bow down to them, then the anger of the Lord will be kindled against you, and you shall perish quickly from the good land that he has given to you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Right. Now, turning, now turning to page 88 in your book of common prayer. As we say together, canticle number 12, which, which is the son of creation. Page 88, canticle number 12, the son of creation. Glorify the Lord, all your works of the Lord. Praise him and highly exalt him forever. In the firmament of his power, glorify the Lord. Praise him and highly exalt him forever. Glorify the Lord, you angels and all powers of the Lord. O heavens and all waters above the heavens, suns, sun and moon and stars of the sky, glorify the Lord. Praise him and highly exalt him forever. Glorify the Lord every shower of rain and fall of dew, all winds and fire and heat, winter and summer. Glorify the Lord. Praise him and highly exalt him forever. Glorify the Lord, O chill and cold, drops of dew and flakes of snow, frost and cold, ice and sleet, glorify the Lord. Praise Him and highly exalt Him forever. Glorify the Lord, O nights and days, O shining light and enfolding dark, storm clouds and thunderbolts, glorify the Lord. Praise Him and highly exalt Him forever. Let the earth glorify the Lord. Praise Him and highly exalt Him forever. Glorify the Lord, O mountains and hills, and all that grows upon the earth. Praise Him and highly exalt Him forever. Glorify the Lord, O springs of water, seas, and streams, O whales and all that move in the waters. All birds of the air, glorify the Lord. Praise Him and highly exalt Him forever. Glorify the Lord, O beasts of the wild, and all you flocks and herds, O men and women everywhere, Glorify the Lord, praise Him, and highly exalt Him forever. Let the people of God glorify the Lord, praise Him, and highly exalt Him forever. Glorify the Lord, O priests and servants of the Lord, praise Him, and highly exalt Him forever. Glorify the Lord, O spirits and souls of the righteous, praise Him, praise him and highly exalt Him forever. You that are holy and humble of heart, glorify the Lord. Praise Him and highly exalt Him forever. Let us glorify the Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Praise Him and highly exalt Him forever. In the, firm, in the firmament of His power, glorify the Lord. Praise Him and highly exalt Him forever. The 
the second lesson is the second lesson comes comes from the letter of Paul to the Romans, chapter fifteen, verses twenty-five through through thirty-three. Romans chapter fifteen, verses twenty-five through thirty-three. A reading from the letter of Paul to the Romans. At present, however, I am going to Jerusalem in the in the, in the ministry to the saints from Macedonia and Achaia have been pleased to share the resources with the poor among the saints at Jerusalem. They were pleased to do this, and indeed they owe it to them, for the Gentiles have come to share in their spiritual blessings, and they ought also to be of service to them with material thanks. So when I have completed this and have, deli and have delivered to them what has been collected, I will set out by the I will set out by the way by the by way of you to Spain. And I know that when I come to you, I will come I will come in the full fullness of the blessing of Christ. I appeal to you, brothers and sisters, by our Lord Jesus Christ, and by the love of the Spirit, to join me in the earnest in earnest prayer to, to God on my behalf. That I may be rescued from the believers in Judea, in the and that my ministry to Jerusalem to Jerusalem may be acceptable to the acceptable to the saints, so that by God's will I may come come to you with joy and be and be refreshed in your company. The God of peace be with all of you. Amen. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Now turning to page ninety four in your book of common prayer, as we say together, Canticle nineteen. The Son of the Redeemed. Page 94, can canonical number 19. The Song, of the Song of the Redeemed. O ruler of the universe, Lord God, great deeds are they that you have done, surpassing human understanding. Your ways are ways of righteousness and truth. O King of all the ages, who can fail to do your homage, Lord, and sing the praises of your name? For you only are the Holy One. All nations will draw near and fall down before you, because your just and holy works have been revealed. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our Gospel reading comes from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 27, verses 11 through 23. Matthew, chapter 27, verses 11 through 23. A reading from the Gospel of Matthew. Now Jesus stood before the governor, and governor asked him, are you the king of the Jews? Jesus said, You say so. But when he was accused by the chief priests and elders, he did not answer. Then Pilate said to him, Do you not hear how many accusations they make against you? But he gave him no answer, not even to a single tart, so that the governor was greatly amazed. Now the festival the governor was, was accustomed to release a prisoner for the crowd, anyone whom they wanted. At that time, they had an attorney notorious prisoner called Jesus Bar Barabbas. So after they had gathered, Pilate said to them, Whom do you want me to release for you, Jesus Barabbas or Jesus who is called the Messiah? For he realized that it was out of jealousy that they, have, that they had handed him over. While he was sitting on the judgment seats, his wife sent word to him, Have nothing, have, have nothing to do with that innocent man, for today I have suffered a great deal because of a dream about him. Now the chief priests and the elders persuaded the crowds to, act, to ask for, for Barabbas and, and to have Jesus killed. The governor again said to, the, to them, Which of the two do you want me to release for you? And they said, Barabbas. Pilate said to them, Then what should I do with Jesus, Jesus who is called the Messiah? All of them said, Let him be crucified. 
then he asked. Then he asked, what, why, what evil has he done? For they shouted all the more, let him be crucified. It's the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Tur turn into page 96 in your Book of Common Prayer as we reaffirm our faith in the words of the Apostles' Creed. Not page 96, the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit, and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day He rose again. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Suffragist, Suffragist A. Still on page 97 in your Book of Common Prayer. Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Flow through ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care, and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth. Your saving heal them on all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us with your Holy Spirit. Let's turn to page 231 as we say together the collect of the, the collect of the day. Let us pray. Almighty God, the fountain of all wisdom, you know our in Necessities before we ask in our ignorance and asking. Have compassion on our weakness and mercifully give us those names which which for our worthy which for unworthiness we dare not. And for our blindness we cannot ask through the worthiness through the worthiness of your Son Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Now turning to, now turning back to pa page ninety nine. O God, the King Eternal, whose light divides the day from the night, and turns the shadow of death into the morning, drive far from us all wrong desires, and incline our hearts to keep your law, and guard our feet in the, in, into the way. Let us, let us say call it for Saturdays. Almighty God, who after the creation of the world rested from all your works and sanctified your day of rest for all your creatures, grant that we putting away, away all earthly anxieties may be duly prepared for the service of your sanctuary, and that a rest here upon earth may be a preparation for the eternal rest promised to your people in heaven, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. A call it from the new world of life. O God, the King Eternal, whose light divides the day from the, from the night and turns the shadow of death into the morning, drive far from us all wrong desires, and climb our hearts to keep your law, and guide our feet into the way of peace, that having done your will with cheerfulness during the day, we may, when night comes, rejoice to give you thanks. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Turn to, turn to page 100. For a call it for guidance. 
Heavenly Father, in you we live and move and have our being. We humbly pray you so to guide and govern us by your Holy Spirit, that in all the cares and occupations of our life, we may not forget you, but may remember that we are ever walking in your sight. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Turning to page 823. In your book of common prayer, let us pray for social justice. Let us pray for social just justice. Grant, O God, that your holy life and holy and life-given spirit may so move and move every human heart, and especially the hearts of the people of this land. The barriers which divide us may crumble, suspicions disappear, and hatred cease. Though our divisions be healed, we may live in justice and peace. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Pray in times of conflict. O God, you have bound us together in a common life. Help us in the midst of our struggles for justice and truth, to confront one another without hatred or bitterness, and to work together with mutual forbearance and respect. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Turning to page 827, let us pray for those who influence public opinion. Almighty God, you proclaim your truth in every age by, by many voices. Direct in our time, we pray, those who speak were, were many listen and write what many read. That they may do their part in making the heart of this people wise, its mind sound, and its will righteous, to the honor of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Let's turn to page 830. Turn to page, turning to page 831. Let us pray for the victims of addiction. O blessed, o blessed Lord, you minister to all who, who came to you. Look with compassion upon all who your addiction have lost their health and freedom. Restore to them the assurance of your unfailing mercy. Remove from them the fears that beset them. Strengthen them in the work of their recovery. And to those who care for them, give patient understanding and preserving love. Amen. Let us turn, turn the page back to 101 in your, in your book of common prayer. Let us pray for mission. Lord Jesus Christ, you stretch out your arms of love from the heart of the cross that everyone might come within the reach of your saving embrace. So clothe us in the spirit that we, reaching forth our hands in love, may bring those who do not know you to the knowledge and love of you, to the honor of your name. Amen. All right. So if you have any prayer requests, please, please add them into your comments and, we, and I will pray over those. Oh, thank you, Mrs. Garcia. Oh, you're welcome, Tiffany. Oh, hi, Margaret. Oh, let us pray for Deacon. Oh, pray. Oh, we pray for Deacon Diane Luck and her family, and for the repose of the soul of Father George Luck. All right. Turn it to page eight. Oh. Please play for my, oh. We're, we pray for my dog. Daughter Temple, who is not feeling well. Lord, please give it, give her com give her comfort and healing. Please, please touch her. Let us let us pray for the whole state. Of oh, 
You're welcome, Mrs. Lieutenant Latimer. Thank you. Let us pray for the whole state of Frank's church in the world. Almighty and ever living God, who in thy word has taught us to make prayers and supplications and to give thanks for all men, receive these our prayers which we offer unto you and to thy divine majesty, beseeching thee to inspire continually a universal church with the spirit of with the spirit of truth, unity, and concord, and grant that all those who do confess thy holy thy holy name be agree in the truth of thy holy word. Amen and live in unity and godly love. Give grace, O Heavenly Father, to all bishops and other ministers, especially Michael, our, our presiding bishop, George, our bishop, Betsy and David, Neil, our clergy, that they may both by their life and doctrine set forth by true and lively word, and rightly duly administer thy holy sacraments. And to all thy people give thy heavenly grace, and especially this especially to this congregation watching, that would make hard a new reverence, that may hear and receive thy holy word, truly serpenting in holiness and righteousness all the days of their life. We, we beseech thee also so to rule the hearts of those who bear the authority of government in this and every land, especially our President Donald, that they, that they may be led to wise decisions and right actions for the welfare and peace of the world, Open, O Lord, the eyes of all people to behold thy gracious hand in all thy works, to rejoice in thy whole creation, that may honor thee with their substance, and be faithful stewards of thy bounty. We most humbly beseech thee of thy goodness, O Lord, to comfort and succor. Gentle, who's not few. We did lack Rita Latimer's daughter, Temple, who's not feeling well. Ray, ba Ray Bowers, Nancy Powell, Cheryl Gunderson, Betsy Clare, Terry Van Gundy, John Cheney, Pat Murphy, Susan Brooks, Ron Morissette, Joe Areta, June Sullivan, Connor Parks, Gordon Connors, Becky Campbell, Bellows, Todd Fritz, John Marshall, Hunter Haney and par parents Adrian and Jack, and Brother Hudson, Michael Brennan, Barbara Woodruff. And all those who in this transitory life are in trouble, sorrow, need, sickness, or any other adversity. Oh, morning, Mr. Murphy. And we also bless thy holy name for all thy servants to part to this life in thy faith and fear, especially praying especially for the repose of the soul of Father George Luck, beseeching thee to grant them continued growth in thy love and service, and, and to grant us grace so to follow the good examples of all thy, of St. James the Apostle, and of all thy saints, that with them we may be partakers of thy heavenly kingdom. We pray, we pray for Deacon Diana, Diana Luck and her family, and for the repose of the soul of Father George Luck. Give him eternal rest, and the light perpetual shine upon them. Grant these our prayers, O Father, for Jesus Christ's sake, our only mediator and advocate. Amen. Now I'm turning to page 101 in your Book of Common Prayer, as we say together to General Thanksgiving. Let us pray. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, our worthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, our preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your merciful love in the redemption of, in the, redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service, and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days, through Jesus Christ our Lord. 
to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Let us pray, let, let us pray a prayer of St. Chrysostom found on page 102 in your book, Common Prayer. Excuse me. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you, and you have promised your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, he will be in the midst of them. To fill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth, and in the age to come life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to him from generation to generation in the church, and in Christ Jesus, forever and ever. Amen. Well, thank you all for watching Morning Prayer with me. Welcome. Now. We have morning prayers such as this, such as this one at 8 o'clock in the morning, every day, noonday, noonday prayer from Monday, Monday through Saturdays at 12.10 p.m. In, in Compline every night at 8 o'clock in the evening. We, we also have our parking lot services at on Sundays at 7 a.m. for all ages, and on Wednesdays at 7 a.m. and on Wednesdays at 7 a.m. for people over 50. Our goal for this month is 3,500 pounds. As of yesterday, we still need 1,700 pounds of non-perishables. Please don't donate, donate them to, to the WAC. Please donate them to Network and put them in the wagon at 421 Custer Road as soon as possible. Thank you again for morning. And thank you again for, for watching Morning Prayer with me. Bye-bye. See ya.